We're driving the all new Challenger Hellcat wide body, which takes some pieces from the Demon and fits it onto the regular 707 horsepower Hellcat. The thing is, this is the way the car should have come when it first debuted. Version 1.0 of the Challenger Hellcat was introduced in 2015. And it had a massive 707 horsepower supercharged V8, but tiny little 275 millimeter wide tires, and they were way overworked. Needless to say, it did pretty good burnouts and gave us a tough time at the drag strip and on tracks with turns. Now, a new Challenger wide body puts more meat under the car for improved straight line and lateral traction, thanks in fact, to the Hot Rod Demon. The Hellcat widebody is three and a half inches wider than the narrow body Hellcat, and that's thanks to the wider fenders borrowed from the Demon. And underneath those fenders are 20 inch wheels. They're 11 inches wide and wrapped in 305 millimeter wide tires in the front and the rear. The Pirelli P0 tires are actually a next generation tire from the previous P0s. So it's an improved compound and drives really nice, even with this wide of a tire on the front. We drove the Hellcat wide body at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway infield road course and on the streets around Indy. My first impressions are that a manual transmission Hellcat is now considerably less evil on the street. The previous car with its skinny tires was a handful. It just didn't react well to those changing gears, especially aggressively when the body is kind of flailing all over the place. The extra contact patch from the wider tires helps the Hellcat feel more settled and planted. When you stab the throttle in first gear, the tires haze while peeling out, but they don't ignite in a sideways burnout like the old car. At highway speeds, the Hellcat widebody tracks as cleanly as the narrowbody car, which is a delight considering the super wide summer tires up front don't catch every groove in the road and tug it left and right. Unlike the regular Hellcat, the widebody has electric assist power steering instead of hydraulic, but behind the wheel, you can't even tell the difference. On Indy's infield road course, the Hellcat isn't magically transformed into a track car. It's still heavy and drives like it, though the additional grip does result in more confidence behind the wheel. The wide body is less squirmy, and there's more bite that makes it not as scary to throttle on coming out of a corner. But you're still controlling 707 horsepower that unleashes violently and can overpower the rear tires at will. The Hellcat widebody is what the Hellcat should have been from the start. It has a properly sized tire for all of its 707 horsepower. As a bonus, that extra traction lowers the advertised quarter mile time from 11.2 seconds to 10.9 seconds on the street tires. Not drag radials, but this is not the standard Hellcat yet, so you'll have to open up your wallet to get it and shell out an additional $7,700 over the base Hellcat for the wide body.